Welcome back to the Slow Flower Show with Deborah Prinzing. This is episode 541. Well, at the beginning of a new year, I often find myself focusing on all the projects and improvements I want to tackle. Not just resolutions, but I would call them upgrades. And frankly, I've probably been thinking about those upgrades for the entire past year. Now it's just time to put those ideas and concepts into practice. There's something that resonates with the phrase new year, new you. And I have to say, here it is, January 12th, and I already feel like I'm ticking off some of those goals in small and large ways. Uh, Things like getting beautiful prints framed so they can hang on my office wall rather than being stacked in a pile, or ordering new filing cabinets and sorting through reams of paperwork that previously were mounted on the floor of my office, Uh, or subscribing to new software that will improve how Slow Flower Society functions. And well, it's a long list. I've done those three things so far in less than two weeks, so patting myself on the back. Today's guest might just help you unlock something that you've been struggling with, how to streamline your recipes and proposals and take your wedding and event branding to a new level. Please join me in welcoming Kareen Hecht, founder and CEO of Details Flowers Software. The Details Flowers software platform was created by Floris for Floris with the primary goal of providing a solution to help floral businesses of all sizes succeed. Motivated to create a system to help florists do more and earn more, Details believes in helping to shape the floral industry as a whole and helping it grow. The platform connects florists, designers, growers, suppliers, wholesalers, and educators together to inspire a more beautiful world through flowers. Founded in Ormond Beach, Florida in 2015, Details Flower Software was created by Kareen Hecht. As an event florist, Kareen designed and executed hundreds of events, becoming a leader in floral design in the Central Florida market. After years of growing her floral business, Kareen decided to move in another direction and take on the challenge of building a much needed all-in-one software solution for people just like her, florists. Details partnered with the Slow Flower Summit in 2021, And they'll return as a sponsor for our 2022 summit. We're really happy about that. Just recently, Details came on board as a Slow Flowers podcast sponsor. Will today will learn about this useful and beautiful tool for organizing your floral enterprise. And listen closely because there's a special offer for listeners that Kareen shares at the end of our conversation. I'll jump right in and get started. So let's save our sponsor thank yous to the end of the show. Hello again, and welcome back to the Slow Flower Show with Deborah Prinzing. This is episode 541. Hey, I'm super excited to record this conversation with my special guest today, Kareen Heck. Hi, Kareen. Hi, how are you doing, Deborah? I'm great. <laughs> Kareen is the CEO and founder of Details Flowers Software. Um, I've watched your demonstrations uh, of the software platform in the past. I have to say it's both beautiful and functional. And I think that's all we want in our lives is (laughs) easy and pretty. (laughs) For sure. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. So I'm really happy that Details Flowers Software has joined as uh, the Slow Flowers Podcast as a new channel sponsor for 2022. And I hope our audience, followers, and members are inspired to check out what you've developed with this program and product. For people watching today, we're going to have a fun conversation that might just unlock some new ideas for how you manage your floral business and your branding, as well as getting more profitable, right? Uh, It's a good resolution for 2022. So Kareen, uh, let's start with what your what and your why. What is Details Flower Software and why did you create this tool for florists? I developed this software out of a specific need for myself. So I was an event designer in central Florida for over 15 years. Uh, I kind of transitioned into the software while I still had my event design business because I wasn't quite sure if it was going to, you know, I was going to quit my day job. Right. Right. um, I school because I, I really needed a better way to organize my business. And the longer I did it, the better I got at it. But I was finding I was using all of these different Excels and different Microsoft tools that I would bring in staff to use and they would just mess up. So I really needed to have a good database infrastructure where all this information could live. I could get to it you know, at the touch of um, a mouse, uh, because there's just so much to know as a florist when things are growing, 
Bitcoin? Um, where am I going to buy it? How much did I buy it before? How many do I need? So there are just so many different calculations that I feel like florists are uh, expected to deliver on week after week, event after event. And uh, better I got at it, I started hearing from people, wow, you should really develop a tool to help others do this. So um, after I sat on the idea for about six years, I set out to develop it. I ended up joining the UCF business incubator here in central Florida, entered all kinds of pitch competitions to raise some money because of course, building software is really expensive. And um, I ended up just getting a lot of great mentor believed in what I was doing. And before I knew it, I was um, stepping in front of Society of American Florists presenting. And now we um, have great opportunities to work with all these um, great organizations. And so we just try to be as supportive to others in the industry as have been to us. And we try to cross pollinate. So that's why we're working with you because you've just done such incredible programming. And I feel like we have a really good product that could eventually meet the needs of other people in the supply chain, whether it be florists, wholesalers, breeders, or even um, farmer florists. So uh, just a, an area we want to know more about and offer um, our technology to people who find it as useful as all of our customers do. Wow. So it's sort of like a typical storyline of uh, a women, women creatives and women entrepreneurs. I will just say it. I'm going to be sexist here. Like you see a problem, you've troubleshoot it. You come up with your own solution and then you want to share it with others. And, um, uh, you had a pay several pain points, it sounds like. And so you knew that your peers were experiencing those same frustrations. It had to be. And I just, I, as, I knew as good as I was software and the technical writing aspects, because that's just how my brain thinks. There are so many creatives that aren't. So for me, I was always asking the question, what are the people who are completely like unfamiliar with any of these um, spreadsheets? What are, yeah. what are they doing to make their business run? Because it took me a good four or five years before I had a good process down. So I feel like we've done a lot of the legwork, a lot of the own like pains within our own business, and we've implemented those, incorporated those. And now, since we have a really um, good group of customers, they're always giving us feedback about things that they wish it would do that I have never even had the idea to do. And it's like, yes, if you if you tell us what you want, we can now incorporate that. So a lot of it, the last three years has been um, new ideas and new desires that have moved beyond even what my small business would would intend to do. When did you actually stop designing weddings and go full, you know, hundred percent into being a, a CEO of a software firm? I got a lot of pressure that I needed to close my business. <laughs> oh. um, I ended up winning the Rollins pitch uh, in 2016. So from, I started the business in 2003, but in 2016, I ended up winning this competition. And at that time I got all these mentors on that were like, you need to stop doing your bread and butter business. And I was like, okay, well, this isn't quite paying the bills yet. So my actually last wedding was November um, 25th of 2018, which was my mother's um, wedding to her oh. second husband. Now. Wow. But um, it was a nice tie off to complete like a, an era <laughs> of weddings and it couldn't have been for someone like it was, it was a special ending note. That's neat. Yeah. And obviously you, you are somebody who's experienced all levels of wedding and event floristry. So you understand what your customer needs. And, um, I'm sure you play with flowers a lot <laughs> when you have a chance. I still love it. I love to to get in there and play, but I really just don't like cleaning up the mess anymore. So <laughs> I would, that's funny. It's, well, let's, it's a, it's a lot. Yeah. Let's look at the site. Um, I've, um, I'd love to have you pop up kind of, uh, what, what people see when they, uh, create a, an account with details flower software and all the tools. I know we can't cover it all today, but just sort of the high level of what you think are some of the features that would appeal, uh, most to all the people who are so visually oriented who watch this podcast or the vodcast. Well, I knew when I was working on the software, it had to be visually pleasing. So we've really laid out our site to um, give the florist all the tools that they might want as they're creating events, um, including um, as it loads here, the inspirations that your client might send to you 
as well as there we go. Um, the inspirations that your client might send to you, as well as any items that you might want to show them or have them select for their wedding. We have um, different color palettes and so forth that you can create and design because this wow. is the story that you're wanting to tell. Um, we've also itemized it so that you can itemize every item, set budgets for these items. And it's really just a very easy drag and drop process. So if I drag this bouquet in here, it will show me all the items that make up this particular bouquet and what I'm anticipated to spend on these per stem. And then you could add your own markup on this. So for example, we have a 325% markup. It's showing me that I should charge $400 for this bouquet or thereabouts. So um, I can just go in here and update that. And now my entire budget for my wedding has this now incorporated bridal bouquet, along with all the stems that I need to order and all these other items. Wow. So you can easily go in and just create um, you can also save different versions, but if I wanted to come up with some kind of um, idea, maybe that I have for a sweetheart table and I want to pay, maybe put, um, let's see, this low vase on there. I can mm -hmm. just drag this in here. It has all the items from accent decor. And then basically you can roll up to the top and just drag in what you might want to use. So I might want to use these ranunculus and these peonies. And I've already selected some items from our gallery, but as you change the stems, it will show you what you should charge for this. And if wow. you're in you know, high-end blooms, you want to make sure that you're going to be charging appropriately for this. So these items are easily at your um, disposal, I guess, for you to say, or if you don't want something in there, you can remove it. If you find it's not um, being the client's budget, for example. Mm -hmm. so, I see. So you, you can, so the prices are attached to the gallery of Im images in your library, Absolutely. but, but the, the designer could kind of override them by adjusting for their, their, what they know they can get locally or whatever. Say that you're getting a better deal on coral charms because you're getting them locally this season. You can update this particular recipe. It would change for this event, um, but not for your other events. So Got it's it. all like disconnected as far as that goes. But um, you can save different versions. Um, you can also save a template. So once you get this wedding completely laid out the way that you're wanting, you could um, just load this for the next client that might want that all by just going up here. Love um, it. And you could load. So you kind of, du you duplicate it and then you can go in and customize it still. Yeah. And you can save as you go. So you'll just have great historical records. Um, as far as our like features go with our color palette, you can select different items or different colors and add those to your event. You can even upload maybe um, the Pantone name. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. wanted to say, you know, what is it? Perry, maybe. Very know. Perry or whatever that new yeah, color is. Sure, but um, <laughs> we could just say um, cyan or something. Uh -huh. It will. Um, yeah. What is it? Very Perry. I'm not sure if that one's even in here. Yet. It's so new. You probably don't have it yet, but you will, I know. You will I, have I it. <laughs> renaming them, but you can upload different pictures from an image. So say you wanted to get this exact color, you can select that and you can also see suggested colors. So it gives you the complementary colors, the triadic, analogous, tints, all from this. So it's really helping you be like a color expert. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Yeah. And you can drag and drop these however you want to arrange them in your story. So that's one of our, our nice features. Um, and then we also do all the taxes and so forth. So you might, depending on how you charge for taxes or services, um, depending on your state. So really it, we try to get you informed with what your tax liabilities are as far as the business of the, the floristry goes. Um, I want to really show you this resources gallery because I think this would be something that appeals to your farmer florists, um, especially, but for anybody that's watching, we've partnered with a variety of different wholesalers, manufacturers, breeders, and this is all really inf great information for them because they get the analytics of how their items are performing if you're using these items, which is really very exciting. Let's look at the P Alaska, Alaska Peony Cooperative because they are Slow Flowers members and that would be a good example to show people uh, a domestic grower and what they 
uh, what they might have um, uh, for as a, you know to add to this gallery. Absolutely. Yeah. So they um, they have about 12 varieties of peonies, I believe. And um, this is really great. It shows all the pictures of them. We also have this table view. So if you're a florist working in here and you're like, you know, I see that these are set at 550 a stem. I actually get them cheaper. You could change and update the price. So mm -hmm. um, if you do leave the prices, this is what they're selling per stem. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But you're able to add these to your event. You could also, if you want, they come up with a new one. Alaska Peony can come right into their site. And once they add one, everybody in our network will see that item um, because it's a global item. So you'll see if it has this global button, that means everybody in the details network has it. Got it. Um, that's really kind of, I think, pretty exciting. Um, if you open up this particular flower, it will give you a great description of it, along with other images that um, they've provided. Any details about this? So what they usually pack per bunch, um, the default costs, any colors that are associated with that. And it looks like we have kind of has a blush tone to it. So yeah. we haven't completely eliminated that. And then the availability. So you can mm. see it's only available in July and Got August. It. Got it. That's so interesting. So once you've kind of worked through your recipe and you've worked through the existing photos that are in the library, maybe added some of your own, what does, what is the out, the outcome? What is the propose? is it's a proposal that you create, right? Yeah, absolutely. I'm actually opening up our recipe gallery here, and I have quite a few recipes in here. Right. Um, I love it. This is kind of interesting so that you can see, you can save your recipes as you're creating them for a bride. So maybe you finished this design, you can store it in here for future use, and you can also use it again. So if I wanted to hit this star, it would star this to my design board so that I could just drag and drop it um, easily. And if I open this up, you can see that it shows you all the different items that make up this bouquet. Got it. Wow. So it's really kind of an interesting way to go about searching for different things that you might have used. Maybe you name it. Maybe you want to search by item. So, you know, you can start looking through um, to find different bouquets that might have used this particular flower. Of course, I pick one that hasn't been used in the same. Wow. Bouquet. That's amazing. So the, the bouquets yeah. that have used this flower are in your database from other clients or uh, just your own work. Just your own work at this okay. point, we have partnered with some people and we plan on launching that in the future where you'll be able to share different recipes from some of our, um, you know, some of well-known designers, but yeah. we're always just looking for great pictures of different yeah, but for most people just want to house their information right. or what they have done. I think you're um, right. Yeah. We're also working with, with AIFD to um, help them with their procurement process and, you know, with their big event that they throw each year. But this would be a great historical catalog for them to go back and see what did uh, BART create or Hitomi and to look at what items they actually used or who the sponsors were of those events. So um, I love this it. is just something that to show you as far as like from a financials, you can save as many contracts as you might want. So uh, we always have, have a very sound contract, something we learned through COVID, but you might have a different contract that you have at particular venues or for different clients. So you could save those here or personalize them as such. Well, it's so interesting because I was talking about profitability in the introduction and I'm seeing that every time you can just have something existing in this, in this, in your own account that you can reuse, you're saving hours of figuring out what, how to build a recipe or what language to use. It's just like, so it's, it's a no brainer. Why, why would you want to start from scratch when you have these, these tools? It's, I'm just convincing myself that the, I wish I was a florist so I could use these. <laughs> Well, you know, that was part of the problem is like, I'd have to go back and like, okay, what did I buy that hydrangea from? Who did I buy it from? What did I spend on it? Okay. It's not the same as it is in May, as it might be in November. So I needed to be able to pull all that data quickly and it didn't ever exist in the same spot. So, and for the same flowers. So now all this information is housed. It's easily, you know, at your fingertips, if that's the information you want to find. And 
what we mostly are known for is helping people do beautiful contracts. So this is the final version. Um, this is the editing field. You can do a variety of fonts if you wanted to change to whatever font, but um, mm -hmm. let me show you what the finished product looks like. And we have 75 different templates available to our users. Um, most notably, we just partnered with Holly Chapel. So we have six Holly Chapel templates that are now out called Hope, Faith, um, Joy, Rise, Honor, and I'm forgetting one, uh, Believe, I think is what it is, but um, really inspirational. But she has just gorgeous templates that we feel like really gives our florist the cutting edge. So when you're sending out these contracts, it can be in a beautiful story that you have your colors all picked here with mm. descriptions. All the information that you might have added for this event gets added right into it. So it's really like you can create this event in simple, a few simple clicks, really. And then all the flowers that you're using are itemized by their name. So if your bride does not like eucalyptus, she can just say, hey, don't use that in my event. No problem. I'll edit that out and you can just make some changes. So it's really easy to communicate. And that's what brides are really looking for as a professional laid out contract that includes all of their wishes and hopes and dreams um, in an easy readable manner that they can then share with all of their bridesmaids and so forth. So, um, and this is all just happens right there. So they can click and sign, they can pay right through the site if you should choose to use that feature. Um, but that's yeah, awesome. I feel like that's one of our, 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 what we're most known for. Um, but we do have some other really great features as far as that productivity goes, Deborah, too, um, just to put my sales cap on. Yeah, I want to I want to cool. see them. Yeah. Um, this is probably our favorite feature for most of our designers. They can just give this over to their design team that's coming in and it's all the recipes for that event. And it will even mark anything if you bought something that was a substitution for something else. So if you've made a change, a last minute one. Um, but they can just come in and design and know exactly what to put in this bouquet wow. and it's really saving you from sharing all of your financials um, with your whole design team that doesn't really need to know how much you're bringing in yep. for the event. Yep. I think that's so, really smart. And also that's the kind of thing that um, you don't want vendors to see either if you had to share it with, I don't know, a rental company or something. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Your, your, your client expects you to keep this information, you know, theirs and yeah. they don't, everyone knowing what they spent. So don't leave those uh, special papers behind, but it's always on your phone. So if you need to look up at the event at, online, it's all cloud-based. You can get to it. You could say, no, we only were supposed to make three corsages, not four. See right here says you signed. Oh um, my goodness. <laughs> just, you know, you've got to cover your business. Absolutely. Um, and this is basically a checklist so that they know what to pick up at the end of the night. Um, and then a great cost sheet that basically says um, everything that they need to buy for that event and what their projected expenses are, how many stems. And as they buy this, they can start um, making sure they're profitable right in the moment they start planning that event. So that's one of the things that I found is I would have an event booked in January, might not happen till October, but there was 10 months of lead time that I had to secure all this products. And if I had been a little bit more um, proactive with my suppliers, they would benefit from that um, increased knowledge that I had too. So that's the whole beautiful um, symbiosis, you know, per se yeah. is to help our suppliers be um, as efficient as we need them to be. Right. Especially now when you brought up COVID, like just the whole supply chain uh, availability issue is, you know, wreaking havoc for everybody in the floral industry. And so, you know, it's almost like a way to protect your event by, or, you know, getting this done as early as possible and getting your pre-order pre-orders in and, and your backup plan, I guess. Well, they would certainly appreciate it. I mean, you know, everybody is all working against the clock. And that's what I found is this event's going to happen at this date. So there's really no reason for us not to collect our monies on time to give those orders. You know, it, it's a process. So I think yeah. if you haven't incorporated something like this into your business and maybe you've been doing it the same way it's working for you, then that is really wonderful. But there are so many people out there that are struggling just like I was and really dreamed of a solution. So um, I'm really, it. It, it's a long time over 10 years of development, um, really to bring this product to life, but we're, we're super proud, but you're continually, um, adding new features and, um, 
you know, just the idea that ideas you want to have going forward with specific growers and suppliers uh, inter interfacing with this, um, I think is another reason why I was excited about working with you is to see how can we get the farmer florist and the um, the florist who go, grows a little bit or the farmer who wants to start getting into weddings to see this as a tool that that they can use as well. I think that's really the future because I think those sustainable practices are what are so interesting, what everybody is moving towards. So I do believe that in the future you could put in maybe a demographic. Okay, I want to find farmers that are within 50 miles of me to work on a wedding that I have next May. And if wow. they had all of their products outlined here of what they're thinking they're going to have, I mean, obviously everything is a question mark until you have it in your hand because it's perishable. Like you don't know if it's right. going to be a rainy season, but we can all move towards that in the right direction. And if you have to use a substitution or alternate your plans, you know, a little bit, that's okay too. But I think it's how you communicate it to your bride. And if you're a professional in that delivery, they'll trust you. So that's, this is just giving them an extra layer of trust and for other people, they would love to know when those events are happening so they can set aside this crop. So I do think that that is um, something we'll definitely move towards. And we would love to, um, you know, continue to communicate or if there's anybody that's watching this that is interested in just getting more involved or checking it out, we'd be happy to, you know, set up an account for them. So um, under on this board here, this is sort of like the dashboard then when you come into the site. Um, Right. I mean, this would be one, if I was a client, this would be, my, or I was using the program, this would be my, my account. I'd come in and see all these options. Is yeah, that correct? This is actually uh, the vendor. Uh, there's a few different events. Usually it opens to the event list, which would list out all the florist events that they have coming up. And this is our test account here. Um, so just let it load. Um, so this shows you all your upcoming events. Got it. And Got it. Yeah. I only have four in here, but then that's how you can kind of move through. And you can have as much information to show on this um, front page as you want, depending on your role. Maybe you're just a delivery driver, or maybe you're the accountant. You might want to see, you know, the money situation or the delivery location. So they can set this up. However, um, mm -hmm. we also have this view which shows you basically how many um, inquiries you might have coming in or how many are in that final stage. One of our newest features we just launched is our forms, which is so that you can send out questionnaires or surveys and all that information just gets right pumped back into your details. So it's really um, an amazing feature people have been asking for quite a bit. So like that new bride, hey, let's just fill this out and have all of your event particulars and I don't have to ask you any questions. I just I have you it. So it's a little, it's, a, it's, it's branded by your business, but it's also very uh, automated because you're running it through details. Is that yes, correct? And we yeah. do white label it for all the companies. So this particular company has um, my logo on it, but if you were using this, it would have slow flowers in here mm -hmm. and it, mm -hmm. it wouldn't, they wouldn't know you're using um, a software and even we've offered um unique URLs. So if you wanted to get one of ours, you could make it look like it was still your site. It wasn't okay. like you're using a third party. So yeah, let's, let's really look at, let's look at what, um, one, one of the things I was thinking about is if for the farmer florist, if they really intended to only use images of what they grow, that's where you go into mm -hmm. my, my account and you start adding my flowers or something like that. What, what did that, Let's go back to that. Yeah. So if you go into our resources, so up here at the top is like basically our admin and you can go to any of these places, but the resources will go into item gallery. And for example, if um, once this opens up, it will open up and it'll show you all your partners. And this is um, basically the entire catalog, I guess, in details. And this is all of the items that you have added. And then this is all the items and then any of our partners. Um, you can also create collections, an unlimited amount of collections. So a collection could be um, my, my what I'm growing. So we'll yeah. just create a new collection. Right. So like we'll call it Deborah. It's Slow Flowers Cutting Guard flowers. Collection. <laughs> and you can, oh, okay. I'll, no, that's I'll good. That. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so 
This is basically uh, just somewhere where you could go and this just adds right in here like this. And then once you open this, it really has no flowers in here. So you could add a new item. Um, if you had a picture of it, you could name it, add the description and you could fill these out. Or if you had a whole um, sheet, we could upload that entire sheet for you. So you didn't have to do the step wow. individually. That's um, really but that, cool. Yeah. And you can cut and paste things from other things. So if you're like, oh, you know, I am growing this variety of peonies. I can just um, copy Use that this image. one. Yeah. Yeah. So you could copy it and then go back and paste it into your collection. That's cool. Um, it's just kind of like a cutting and pasting tool, but. Well, um, yeah, I know, good. okay, this is kind of a, a, a good time of year to be thinking about getting sort of a, a spring cleaning and getting all your systems in place. So this is, a, I, I hope this encourages people to think about at least doing either, um, you know, a trial or, getting on to, um, I don't know, you guys have different sessions where you do like um, show and tell and talk a little bit about how people can take advantage of just checking it out more de in, in more detail than you've shared today. Yeah, for sure. Um, if you wanted to visit our website, you can go to detailsflowers.com and it has all kinds of just information about us, our background, our history, how we got started. It also has great support articles and tutorials, videos. If you wanted to sign up, um, you just click the login button and you can create an account. And we offer all of our customers a free seven day trial if they just wanna check it out. Um, if you haven't gotten enough time, you know, just ask our sales team. They're really good. They're gonna handhold, hold your hand through that first week yeah. and even into the, as you're a new customer and we're onboarding you. But basically we wanna make sure that you're skilled, that you've set up your company with the right markups, the right percentages, you know, what does your demographic look like? We also poll our users all the time on different items, like what should they be charging or how much are they paying their freelancers? So as a member, you get um, invited into all of those uh, high level discussions and um, all that information is available for you. And our, we are constantly updating our blog, but I can't say enough good things about the lovely ladies I have working for me over here. It is pretty much a woman owned business. Um, and my team is entirely made up of women, except for our developers. And um, I think it's just really, they really get it. And I think that we do a really good job of understanding our customer and how it's a service level business. Yes. And we have to do good service to our brides and our um, corporate clients that we work with. And I've instilled in my team that I want us to give that same level of of service and commitment and care to our customers. So I think you'll find that over and over again with us. And, um, you know, if we don't have it, ask for it. If we don't yeah. have something that we're wanting, we, we log everything. So I have to tell you how much I appreciate that. You know, it's a, our customers, they're just such a unique, creative bunch of people. And I think it takes that like, um, motherly love sometimes yeah. that you have yeah. to give that. And, um, you know, it's, it's good. That's good. Well, let's close this down the screen so I can get you back large. And um, I, you know, let's talk a little bit about, so you, the seven day free trial, it gives someone a chance to really kind of kick the tires and get a sense of it. Once they've done that, what, what are the costs involved and how could, if someone's thinking about budgeting, what would they, um, what would they need to invest? And, you know, how would they be able to compare that with all the time they're doing on their yeah. own without the tool? Well, it, you know, we've kind of broken it down um, on how much time. So it's really interesting to think about how much time you spend on each of these areas and what is your what are you worth hourly um, so that you can really calculate your savings. But details is cost um, $150 a month or $1,500 for the year. So it's basically less than $4 and 83 cents a day uh, <laughs> to manage the business. So if you're doing more than one event uh, in a month, you probably need the software. Right. Um, two events, you know, it'd probably pay for itself. But um, yeah, we want to make it really affordable as we've added new features. We haven't raised the to our early adopters and all of our people who started early um, with us because I completely believe in that loyalty and um, we've learned so much from those customers. So we've really uh, followed in line with that. Um, we have added new features that, um, 
are an additional expense. So like the forms is a new feature. We do give a 30 day trial to see how you want to incorporate that, but that's such a huge developmental expense. It was uh, something that we can't include for free. Yeah. So it's like, if you want this and you need this, this $25 a month, whereas it's like you know, taking it just to the next are, level, right? Yeah, I, 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 we haven't ever done that before. So this is the first time we've done that, but um, it's, it's, for something similar, you would pay $99 a month on the internet. So this is all incorporated into your details. Um, we've also added and linked up with other um, integrations like Zapier, which connects with QuickBooks, it connects with Google Calendar. Um, we're the only software that has made this, uh, spent some time on developing this integration so that you can connect with any resource that you might be using, whether it's Zero, Slack, or HubSpot, or you know, constant contact. So you can incorporate your details into that too, um, which is huge. You know, I was not a, a developer, you know, when I got into this business, but the longer I'm in it, I am understanding the importance and how we need to make sure we get these things right. So it's kind of slow and tedious to develop, but um, once we have a sound good tool, we know it. we've, we're making magic. So yeah. I love it. And I think it is, uh, we so often, especially, uh, creatives do, we don't value our time and the cost of our time. So the way you've broken it down kind of helps remind people that, um, you know, having the right tool will actually make you more efficient and thus more profitable. So I, I love that math. I mean, I get, I get that math. That's really neat. It opens you up to exploring ideas too, uh -huh. Deborah. because if you're so set in your ways to do the same thing every day, because this is how much time you have, the moment you free up, it's just like, wow, I can, I can go into this area of the business that I have not been able to spend any time, you know, really perfecting. So I, I feel like it just is like, it, it just helps you bloom. Well, you know, it's funny because sometimes I, I think of back on conversations I've heard too, where, um, I hear florists be like, oh my God, I spent all day writing proposals. And like, it just seems like the least fun part of the business. And so you're right. trying to take that pain out of it and make it more fun. And yeah, there's a price to pay, but uh, I think the payoff is getting more clients, you know, sign, you know, signing those contracts. And that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I feel like we've put a, a really nice package together so that those brides want to say yes. And we teach people how to sell that so that they, when they send out a contract, it's a yes. Um, so you'll hear that time and time again, but it was the worst part of doing this job for like 15 years. This is why I knew there had to be a better way. And I would, I would loathe having to write contracts, but I knew I was, if I did it and I spent enough time in it, it would be yes. And yeah. so now it's just like, we put those two goals together and yeah. so you don't have to do that that hard well work. you've mentioned that you have um, created these new templates for kind of pretty recently so kind of a new thing for 2022 yeah. and um what else do you have coming up that you're uh you see on the horizon now giving all that's happened in the floral world in the last two years i think we're all just anticipating that change is continual now Yeah, you know, we're really excited about some of the um, the integrations that we have um, that are going to make that productivity faster. So we're doing some heavy lifting with our Zapier so that you don't have to build out a specific, specific template. We'll have those all created for you. So you'll just have to say, yes, I want it to do this. And then you click it and then it, it works for you. Um, we're also working on um, reorganizing how people catalog their items and their ability to share. So um, that will just get more streamlined. And also we have a few new exciting partners that I can't really announce just yet, but I know that they're really big names in the industry and people are gonna be really excited that they don't have to enter each one of their products one at a time anymore. They'll just all magically appear. So that's um, very okay. exciting. That's exciting. I, th it's I think we're excited that details is going to be at the Slow Flowers Summit and um, we Very talked, nice. we, you, you were our partner in 2021, uh, sponsoring our lanyards, but it was kind of a last minute thing and you couldn't come to the Bay area. So I'm glad you're going to come to our summit at the end of June in New York. That's going to be awesome. And we're going to try to set up a, 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 a lunchtime session or, a well, oh, you're sponsoring the cocktail party, something where people can actually 
try out the software and uh, <laughs> and get to know yeah. you. And I'm really excited that that's going to happen. Yeah, well, we're just happy that events are happening again and that people are meeting in person. And, you know, our our business thrives on that. So we have to be very pro getting together. And um, we love that you host such a great event and there's such phenomenal people that come each year. And it's it's more of like a just a great networking event and yeah. just camaraderie. So yeah. we, we appreciate that. We we're thrilled. So yeah, thank it'll you be for great. Me. We were just talking uh, in a meeting before I got on here with my team about, you know, the we're kind of at the same po point we were a year ago where we were hesitant about whether events were going to go forward. But by the time the outdoor events at the end of June in California, where we could all gather safely, um, you know, got, we got we beat the Delta variant. So now this year we're like, OK, let's get Omicron to sweep all through and then be done. And then we can gather at the end of June. That's my wishful thinking. I, you know, maybe I shouldn't talk about it, but I'm just hoping, I just think you're right. There's a desire to gather and of course, to gather mm -hmm. safely. And we will do that. I, I hope that, I hope that yeah. continues. I'm, I'm feeling optimistic. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very optimistic. And the, a few events that I attended last year were just really amazing. So I just, people were just so happy to get out of their, you know, their place in the world and come out and be with other people. And I, I think our florists, we really look forward to these events and, you know, you set your whole year on a few important key things. So yeah. I'm going to do my best to make sure that that happens. And yeah. I, I, I agree. I agree completely. We're going to think positive thoughts. Um, this has been so beautiful. And so I want to make sure that people who are watching know that they can go to details and get that seven day free trial. And then if you yes. have further questions, there's this amazing, uh, customer happiness team that really uh, is incredibly responsive and will help you work through uh, any questions or, you know, I don't know, for me, like I would need a little training, you know, I know that happens. So. Absolutely. And we, um, you know, fully know that's, a, you know, our, our whole mission is to help people move through the software with ease. <laughs> And if that is not the case, then you won't stick around. So our goal is to make sure that your onboarding experience is really great. And we also give people a discount on their first year. So if you do um, send anybody our way or if anybody sees this, um, you could use Slow Flowers 22 for 20% off. So okay. download, Deborah, or just with your network here, anybody listening. Okay, but, um, I will share that in the show notes. I think that's really generous. And um, let's just share the love and get more people being more efficient, more profitable, creating more beautiful proposals that that make events successful. So I love it. Thanks for taking the time to walk us through it today. I've been wanting to have you on the on the vodcast slash podcast for a while. So I'm glad we're doing it in the new year. Yes. Thank you for having me. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Hey, thank you so much, Kareen. Uh, before we wrap up, I have a few sponsor thank yous, but I just want to point out, did you hear the special first year 20% off discount that uh, she shared? If you're interested in um, subscribing to Details Flowers software tool, use Slow Flowers 22 for 20% off your first year. So that's incredibly generous. This show is brought to you by slowflowers.com, the free online directory to more than 880 florists, shops, and studios who design with local, seasonal, and sustainable flowers, and to the farms that grow those blooms. It's the conscious choice for buying and sending flowers. Thank you to our lead sponsor, returning for 2022, Farm Girl Flowers. Farm Girl Flowers delivers iconic burlap wrap bouquets and lush abundant arrangements to customers across the U.S. supporting U.S. flower farms by purchasing more than $11 million of U.S. grown fresh and seasonal flowers and foliage annually. Discover more at farmgirlflowers.com. Thank you to the Seattle Wholesale Growers Market, a farmer-owned cooperative committed to providing the very best the Pacific Northwest has to offer in cut flowers, foliage, and plants. The Growers Market's mission is to foster a vibrant marketplace that sustains local flower farms and provides top quality products and services to the floral industry. Visit them at seattlewholesalegrowersmarket.com. 
Thank you to Rooted Farmers, working exclusively with local growers to put the highest quality specialty cut flowers in floral customers' hands. When you partner with Rooted Farmers, you are investing in your community and you can expect a commitment to excellence in return. Learn more at rootedfarmers.com. And a final thank you to Longfield Gardens, which provides home gardeners with high quality flower bulbs and perennials. Their online store offers plants for every region and every season from tulips and daffodils to dahlias, caladiums, and amaryllis. Check out the full catalog at Longfield Gardens. That's longfield-gardens.com. The Slow Flowers Show is a member-supported endeavor, and I value our loyal members and supporters. If you're new to our weekly show and our long-running podcast, check out all of our resources at slowflowerssociety.com and consider making a donation to sustain Slow Flowers' ongoing advocacy, education, and outreach activities. You can find the donate button in the column to the right at slowflowerspodcast.com. I'm Deborah Prinzing, host and producer of the Slow Flowers Show and the Slow Flowers Podcast. Next week, you're invited to join me in putting more slow flowers on the table, one stem, one vase at a time. The content and opinions expressed here are either mine alone or those of our guests alone, independent of any podcast sponsor or other person, company, or organization. Thanks so much for joining us, and I'll see you next week.